Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another dropship and this one is called the Locus Assault Dropship which is this one right here featuring a deployable ramp to let your friends get in and out and it also has a few wings on rotors that you can switch around when you're ready to take off and fly away. Pressing F10 and finding the Locus. There it is. This ship weighs in at 3,633 small blocks. It uses no mods and it uses none of the blocks from the DLC packs, so it's perfect for vanilla survival mode. So let's start by going around the outside and then we'll take it for a little test flight, blow up some pirates if they're actually spawning in this world, I can't remember if they do, and then that'll be it. So starting at the very front here, we of course got our fighter cockpit, which is always a very popular cockpit to use on a ship. That has been surrounded by some nice block work just to curve it all out using some grey at the front, some dark blue and some white all the way around the edges. This is how it's been done. It's a nice way of hiding that front nub part of the fighter cockpit without having to attach anything fancy on the front. Coming around the side here and towards these white blocks here we've got some atmospheric thrusters. Now this ship features both atmospheric and ion thrusters so it's great to go through space and into an atmosphere. It is a little bit sluggish on the planet but it's still perfectly flyable. Now to the right of these atmospheric thrusters we've got two Gatling guns and that is the same on both sides. Slightly below them we've got some ion thrusters and a little spotlight that has been hidden away there behind a half sloped block. Moving away and coming around to the wing, we just move across to see some lovely block work all the way along there. And then as we come to the wing, we see some more iron thrusters that have been housed in this little dark blue part, like so. Then if I look underneath there, we've got a small gap. Then coming under there, some more atmospheric thrusters. Then moving along to the side here, we've got a rocket launcher, which has been attached onto the wings. It has unfinished wheels and then a piston at the very back with these little blocks just sitting there, almost floating off it. So yes, it's like a fake missile that you could drop and launch, except it will shoot the rockets out the front, because space engineers are limitations and all that. If I just come up and around there, we got lots and lots of ion thrusters. Then as you can see there, we have a rotor attaching this little flap, which is the one that we can deploy when we're ready to take off. So this will just fold all the way down, and it just makes it look even better. If I just drop down and come underneath a little bit, you can see we've got some more large ion thrusters there, some more atmospherics going all the way along, very nicely done. You wouldn't normally look underneath the wings of the ship unless you were just helping a friend land, but it's always nice to see some detail there. Then as we come around to the very back, we've got another large ion thruster and four more small atmospherics, which is the same on both sides. So like I said, this is more focused on the ions than it is atmospheric, but those atmospheric thrusters are still good enough to fly through planets. Coming across to the back of the main body of the ship, once again some more thrusters, so three on both sides, and then we have this. So this is the whole dropship section, where we have a button there which we can press, this will deploy this little ramp there, and your friends just sit inside on these six little seats, and get transported to where they need to go. Now this has been done around the side here with a few little blocks there for a bit of extra decoration. And then coming across to here, we can see we've got some more atmospheric thrusters on the main body and another large ion there. Very nicely done. And then on the very tippy top where I'm standing, we've got Gatling turret here, which is the only weapon that's going to protect your top side. So everything else is going to be pointing forwards. There is no protection on the back or underneath. This turret is going to try and cover all that for you. But yeah, you could find some problems where you hit the blind spots. Just coming up and around, we once again got even more fancy block work and some more iron thrusters. On the top of the wing parts, we got more iron thrusters. And coming all the way to the back there, we got some more little fin parts, which are on the rotor, but these ones cannot be controlled. They are simply a static one to look pretty. And that about covers the outside. There's not too much to talk about, it's just a lot of fancy block work, then a lot of iron atmospheric thrusters. Now it's time to get into my character, hop into the cockpit and I'll show you what those little rotors do at the back there. So 
This is what it looks like at the back. It looks great. If I was to take off, I could just press number seven and that will just fold down. That just makes it look even better. So yes, you just fold them up there, just so you don't bang them into the ground when you're trying to land. Just means you can put all the weight onto the main body without risking those wings. That's all it's there for. Pressing number eight and then hopping out again, we just take a quick little look inside the carrying part. So the button right there, we can press to open and close. We can easily walk up this without jumping. Then we come along to these little seats right here. So you're just getting into the seat. Yeah, it's quite cosy. There are some lights in here, which is right there, but it is a very dark room. So if I close that up, mind the sparks, because it does scrape along a bit. This is very tight. Yes, this is the kind of lighting we get inside. So opening that up once again and walking out, we can close it via that button. Walking around and to the front, we can get into this without having to use our jetpack, which is always a good thing to bear in mind. We now go over the actual buttons. So number one is the Gatling guns at the very front there. Oop, it's a bit wonky trying to move my cameras, but there we go. Use our mouse to fire. All four of them will shoot forwards. Number two is to shoot the rockets on the wings. So our fake little rockets on the side there will simply shoot forwards. Number four is the atmospheric thrusters on and off. So when you're in space, you can safely turn them off so you don't use up your precious power. Now for number five and number six, it's a little bit different. So I will just take off and turn my camera down. So number five will turn on the ion thrusters underneath your ship. So if you're gonna try and land, that's what you do, but none of the other ion thrusters have been turned on. So they are just simply there to help you not crash into the ground. Number six, however, will turn on all the ion thrusters all the way around the ship. So you're good to go through space. Number seven is, of course, the flaps at the back that we can now put down because we're in the air. And number eight is to control the ramp at the back there. There is no way to lock that ramp, but it doesn't seem to move around when flying at speeds. And number nine is the connector at the very bottom there where the landing gears are. And we have a spotlight that just sits there. We can press L to turn them on and off. Yes, that's simply to help you connect up your connector at the bottom. So going for a ride, now we're going to have to do this both on the planet and through space. So relying purely on the atmospheric thrusters, we are fairly slow going forwards and very slow stopping. Going left and going right as well is exceptionally slow while on a planet. Going down, however, and going up is much, much faster. But now we need to go to space. Then I'll just spawn this in once again and we'll test out the ion thrusters. So now that we're in space, we can test out the iron thruster portion of this ship. Going forwards, once again, we are quite slow. And stopping as well is quite slow. So you do have to make sure there's plenty of room between you and your target to make sure you can stop in time. It could also be a good idea to put some parachutes on this just in case you're on a planet and needed to stop. But in space, you will have to judge it maybe via a helpful LCD screen or something like that. Going left and going right is still exceptionally slow and going down and going up still remains to be the fastest portion of the thrusters. So that's the same for the atmospheric and the same for the iron. They just seem to be better up and down. I suppose it makes sense for a dropship because you will be dropping down, letting people out and then pulling up again. So now to end this video it means I've covered basically everything on this ship. We're going to plow straight into this asteroid. So it's a bloody fantastic ship design. It's simply let down by the thrusters being very slow stopping and going forward. So like here, there is no chance that I'm going to avoid this asteroid now. I'm stopping it at such a slow rate. So we're just going to have to go straight into it. So here we go. And there was that. We only lost the front there. The front blocks are all gone. So all we lost was the front, which was the best case scenario when hitting something at speed. Now this is using light armored blocks, so it was quite surprising that I didn't do more damage to this. Yeah, like I said, it's only let down by the thruster placements, but it's still a fun little ship to use and to fly around if you're interested in that type of thing. 
So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with this ship yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a fantastic design and I just love playing with these little flaps at the back there. So thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.